boys, the Fat Philosopher here with another diet update and actually a little plug for Androgen Guitars and so bear with me with that when it comes up. First of all for the diet, it's a big week this week because I broke the 140 kilogram barrier down to 139.3 which is like uh, 1.3 kilograms off the last time I I checked myself. So it puts me at like about 12 kilograms for the year so far since May. And you know it's not the fastest speed in the world. Other people have gone faster, but I'm kind of pleased with it. It's been going down and been going down consistently, and I'm feeling fairly healthy. I'm feeling fairly healthy and in good spirits and in good shape there. So let's go keep working on that. As you might have noticed from the opening icon, I did not have my Dave Mustaine V up there as the opening, but uh, I actually had a purple telly on there. That has to do with a little bit of a story involving a. Anderton's guitars and uh, kind of a, a challenge that I gave them and they're tra actually going through with it there and what it is what my challenge was is uh, <clears throat> let's put it this way as you know it's hard for lefties to get uh, lefty guitars and uh, there's even though the lefties are not as small as a percentage as you think. Justin Guitar did a little survey and he asked people, how many, how many of you uh, play lefty? And of about 15,000 people who replied, 8% of them said they played lefty. So even if that's not the most scientific thing in the world, you can still probably gather that 5% of the players out there uh, are playing left-handed. And that means there is a market for the left-handed guitars. That's is reluctantly being fulfilled and a lot of people wonder like wonder why Fender such a big company like Squire or, or like Ibanez or something like that are so behind in producing lefties and actually uh, I think actually the bigger the company it is the harder it is to produce lefties so I think it's much easier for like a small independent builder say like a 10x or a 10s or a Kiesel to produce a lefty or like where I'm getting mine from, Sahana, that is a big one. The reason is, is that a company like Fender is producing like a thousand guitars a day. And they're all going through like this factory. Well, it's a few factories, but they're going through this factory. Now to produce, these factories are geared for right-handed production. And there's not a whole lefty, separate lefty factory out there. So when a lefty order, they decide to make lefties, what they have to do is to like turn off all the machines, reprogram the reprogram them all, get everybody on uh, getting ready to make lefties. And this, the time it takes to, get, to do that might take a half a day to a day. And uh, so that time, when you're a company that's producing a thousand guitars a day, like Fender is, that's like a thousand guitars lost just to switch over to make lefties. And then when you stop making your run of lefties, you gotta go switch it all back again. That's another half day to a day. That's another thousand guitar, righty guitars you're losing. So I think it's not that the Fender guitars can't, or Fender or other companies don't, can't make lefties. They'd rather not make lefties. I think they'd rather have us go play righty if they can. Or to a certain extent, they're, they're willing to, to ignore the lefty market just so that they don't lose out on the production of the righty market. And this is a part of it when it got tied into... Uh, Andertons here because like whenever a company puts a video out there one of the you always see in the comments something goes do you have any lefties do you have any lefties do you have any lefties I was watching a video by Chapman Guitars and uh, even though I didn't comment on it at least five people asked if they're going to make any lefties so this is a question that comes up up and up and all a lot and sometimes even I comment on that and one video that kind of got my goat got me a little bit pissed off was uh, the um the Danish Pete's uh, purple Telecaster uh, run that they did. Now, as you know, Danish Pete has a kind of a little bit of a legendary uh, uh, custom shop uh, purple Telecaster relic that plays great and everybody just loves it. And even Ron Chapman, once he was blindfolded, he said, I want to buy this guitar. And of course, Danish Pete's like a great guy, really fun to, to listen to and all. And so, with his popularity, Anderson's decided to do a, a 250 run of purple Telecasters. And they've done a few runs of this. They did, a, I think, they did a regular 
they class vibes, they have affinities, they have kind of a relic type out there. And they've done, I think, a run of Telecasters, and they did also that, and there are all these purple Telecasters. And apparently they have exclusive rights from Fender to this purple color that they're producing. So no other party can order purple guitars from Fender, but Andertons, if I'm understanding that correct. Unless, of course, you want to make a custom shop. I'm sure you can make one in a custom shop you can do yourself there. But anyway, so they're making these uh, Telecasters and, and, and these Stratocasters. And there's been at least three runs, about 750 guitars in total. And, but, and they keep bragging about how quickly they sell out. They quick out their you know, in an hour we're, we're all out and stuff like that. So if they're selling so well, I think it's rightfully to ask, well, can't you make a run of tellies or put a few tellies in there? Whenever you, but when you brought up the subject, you know, and uh, both Pete and uh, Danish Pete and Lee, Captain Lee Anderson would comment on it. And they're like, oh, we can't do it. The lefties they won't sell. And, you know, they, they, it's kind of lacked the courage to it. And when you look at it, they're, they're saying they're selling like the hotcakes like in a day. So if, if they sell like in an hour a day, so a right hand run goes out and it runs out in a day. Then a left hand run, if you know it's like only ten percent or eight percent, that means in like twelve days it should run out as well. It should be able to sell them. So I kind of got a little nasty in the comments there, typing around, and I was saying grow some balls and uh, make a lefty run, and uh, and then Captain Lee kind of messaged me back there that they uh, that they kind of wanted. They, they just can't believe that lefties would buy them or something like that. And I says, well, if you, if you don't know unless you try it there. So, uh, actually, you talked, had a little message back and forth. And then uh, I thought that, we kind of messaged, but I kind of thought he was saying, oh, maybe we'll do someday. And I didn't think he'd go for it. Now, just recently, a couple of days ago there, he went and uh, put a video on Instagram there. And uh, says they're going to make a run of 250 left-handed tellies, which is, I think, great news for us. You know, but he did seem a little bit uh, shaken, and we're spending like a hundred thousand quid on this. And so please hope don't make we don't want to make this seem like a mistake. Buy them. So, and you know, considering that I was probably one of the most vocal people on there talking about them to make a lefty run of these, I did order one. I might actually order a few more if I think I can sell them in Japan here, maybe. But uh, first, I'll give other people a chance and. Uh, but anyways, I ordered mine here, and I kind of felt obligated a bit, being kind of one of the more vocal guys, to say, uh, to do it. So I thought I'd get out there, and so if you ever want to get a lefty purple Telecaster, like Danish Pete's on, uh, please check out the Anderton site there. They're, they're all classic vibes. I'll show a picture up here on the, the screen there. So they're classic vibes, and they're running for about, uh, I think, 369 pounds. So plus, if you're overseas, maybe another uh, 80 pounds for shipping. So you're going about, I see, a little bit under $500 or something like that for one of these classic vibes. And classic vibes, of course, are very good guitars. Very um, uh, got a great reputation. So I think we'd be getting a good deal on that. So th they're going to be a while before they get arrive. Apparently, it it says next delivery due three months or longer. But some people are saying they're going to be like a year. Maybe even 2022 coming in. So, but anyways, uh, I think if you're a lefty guitarist, this would be a good chance to prove to the community that lefties are out there and that they're buying guitars. Me, I've probably spent, you know, in the last year and some, I've probably bought about seven guitars now, and which for a total price of maybe. 2500 American dollars, something like that. My most expensive being right now is my uh, my V, which is about $1,300. And, but, but I'm actually have a Sahana coming in, which will actually be a little bit more than that. So think about it, maybe I spent more than that, maybe I spent over $3,500. Lefties, don't tell my wife. But anyway, so there are le people that lefties want to buy, but you know, guitar stores, they're all shaking, they don't want to, you know, especially small ones. You know, or even medium-sized ones. They're just so scared to provide for lefties. And the lefties, you know, we just don't want to buy from you if you don't want to buy from us. Like my guitar store that I put on my video on there, they have like over 200 guitars, and they have one lefty Affinity Black Strat. And that's it. 
and they've sold that guitar a few times. They've had stock coming in. They got all these others, kind of these uh, niche brands, customs that are over two thousand, three thousand dollars that never sell. And two uh, out of the two hundred guitars, they're always on the wall all the time. They got two five thousand dollar Gibsons there. They're just sitting there in their cases, their glass cases, and not selling either. Why don't you give that away? Put up eight lefties, so I have a little bit of choice, you know. But uh, you know, they're all scared about that. But they, I guess they've had experiences where they're not selling. They probably not sell just because you only give them one choice, and they didn't like the choice. They don't want it. But uh, and so they've learned from experience to not put them out. And that's that's one thing about about guitar stores. They all get kind of cookie cutter, kind of all blend together, same kind of strats or LPs. And that's about all you get, you know, because. A lot of guitar stores learn from experience. You put out a V, even though you might like V's, V's don't sell as well. And so they sit there for months and months at a time collecting mothballs. When they do sell, you're like, I'm not ordering any more V's, right? And same thing with lefties, you know, like uh, you might order one lefty and you assume that uh, that one lefty kind of store is going to want that guitar. When actually, you might not want that guitar. You may, might want something else, you know, so, so keep that in, in mind when doing that. Anyway, so this is a little plug for Andertons. If you're a left-handed guy, this would be a good, I think, a very good opportunity to show a big company like Andertons that investing in left-handed players is a good thing and it's a profitable thing. And actually, there's more lefties, I think, playing guitar than ever, and there's more lefty guitars out there than ever. You know, I've been ordering customs or getting these old, uh, old ones I found on used here. But uh, but yeah, just uh, let's show them these big companies that you know you could make lefties and make a profit, and there is an audience out for them. So if you get a chance, go check out the Andertons homepage uh, at andertons.co.uk. Check the lefty section and go up to the Squire Limited Edition Classic Vibe '50s Telecaster in metallic purple, left-handed. And if you have got five hundred dollars burning in your pocket. Just put $50 down for a deposit and you're on your way in business, eh? Anyways, take care and see you the next time with another diet challenge and give you news about my new guitars and other topics coming up. So anyway, everybody take care and have a great evening. Salute.